production function is the one of the most important topics in the production economics let us see what it means and how it works as already mentioned that this is one of the core concepts in the economic theory of production and it basically attempts at defining the alternatives that a producer has and these alternatives are basically mathematically specified as the range of the technical possibilities open to the producer so the technical possibilities are to be assessed here uh, with technical possibilities we mean various uh, combinations of labor and capital that combine to have various levels of outputs now the purpose here is to avoid wasteful processes and the processes that are wasteful actually use the inputs a little more than what it should be used at max so uh, by a, at max I mean the absolute necessary level because we don't want to squander away the inputs that we have the most necessary amount uh, which is required we should use that but not above that the production function attempts to uh, avoid all these wastages and try to achieve the outcome in an optimized way which is in the very um, foundation of economics that we want to optimize all the variables so it basically gives us uh, the possible efficient relations that we can use and these relations are between the inputs and the output or outputs and the technology technological knowledge it is given it means that we are assuming that the technological state is the same in this uh, modern era uh, it is not the best assumption to assume that the technological knowledge or state of technology is the same because now the technological upgradation is happen happening at a miraculous rate so uh, from the very basic point of view of production economics we are assuming it though we can internalize it in its uh, advanced forms so uh, after uh, understanding the um, nature of the production function that how it combines various amounts of labor and capital to get various levels of output now we have some other features of the production function uh, usually what we do is uh, we produce a certain output and that output is uh, usually homogeneous because uh, when we have a farm or a factory it is producing broadly speaking a similar kind of output for example a food product if someone is selling hot chocolate for example uh, for all the customers for all the units of output it is likely to be chocolate it can be slightly different from the previous uh, bowl of uh, chocolate but definitely it will be uh, very much homogeneous it can be same if not the it can be similar if not the same so this is another feature that we have in a production function that output is homogeneous and the inputs they are usually multiple we can absorb more than one inputs in a production function for instance uh, from v1 till vn we can absorb many inputs uh, we can uh, assume that capital labor are the two inputs or we can assume that capital labor energy material ICT and so on we can consider a number of inputs in our production function all of these are considered in flow units instead of stock units because we know that variables are usually measured in a stock manner or in a flow manner so we say that um, it's a flow manner because uh, we are not taking one uh, value out of the series of values that we have over time we are measuring the capital labor energy material or output for a certain time period because output takes some time to get generated so we have to consider all of that time which is consumed in the process of production so we have a flow uh, in this case of a flow variable and that is definitely over a span of time instead of just one point in time this is another uh, point to note in a production function the nature of the variables how we measure them then uh, a production function in its functional form should look like this that the output is a function of the inputs they can vary from one to any number of inputs 
then we have uh, the form of the production function how it does it look like when it comes to its equation so uh, it depends upon the technology of the process that how various combinations are made um, uh, mathematically speaking how will it look like it can look like an additive production function or it can look like a multiplicative production function as the name goes uh, it should have some addi additive terms as you can see this is the intercept this is the first input that is v1 and this is a1 its coefficient or the slope parameter this is the slope parameter of the second input that is v2 and this holds for all the remaining inputs that we have up to the nth input which is vn so this is an ad additive uh, form of the production function this is a multiplicative form of the production function uh, a naught and then uh, v1 has the uh, coefficient in its power and here you can see again the coefficient that is a2 is in the power instead of uh, getting multiplied with v2 just like in the additive form so here you see that this process continues till the final input that is vn and uh, its power has the coefficient of it as an now this is non-linear as you can see the powers are a1 and a2 and then a3 so they are not necessarily equal to one and moreover this is a multiplicative form so it is uh, not linear and that uh, can cause a little bit of complication as we know that uh, solving linear equations and functions is easier as compared to the nonlinear equations so the production function originally is a microeconomic concept it uh, started from the microeconomic analysis it can be microeconomic uh, at a process level just like we understood in the process of production of steel that iron ore is a production process separately and then we have iron production as a separate pr process of production and then we have a steel production process as a separate iron uh, separate process of production so all of them are in, the in themselves a production function and when we talk about a firm uh, this is also a, a, a production process in situations where some output is produced at firm level and then we have a plant definitely the output is produced in plants where some blue collar work is done and heavy machinery can be there as well well and all of these are actually representing the uh, plan, uh, the production function somewhere there will be a production function that we can develop and estimate to get some insights into the production process it's basically a technical relation where the combinations of labor and capital and other factors of production are analyzed so it's not basically designed for internalizing the market conditions or various prices it is basically focusing on the combinations of labor capital which is purely a technical phenomenon so this is um, uh, another feature of production function that doesn't entertain the market conditions uh, and the prices and other factors in its pure form however in its augmented form we can expect that we uh, might try to include other factors as well but in its uh, pure form we have a technical phenomenon that we model and we call it a production function and this uh, process of uh, learning about production economics we will come across a number of production functions they are Cobb Douglas production function uh, CES production function VES production function translog production function and a few others as well thank you